What if events went differently in the 2008 Incredible Hulk? Imagine the timeline had shifted significantly and the Grey Hulk was in the MCU. Now, I am basing this storyline off of a comic book that I had, I believe it was called The Incredible Hulk issue 377. It was one of my first ever, if not probably my first ever comic book that I ever bought, and it was a storyline where I, I believe it was Doc Samus, or Doc Salmon, that had turned, you know, the Green Hulk and the Grey Hulk separately, and that's what I wanted to do kind of with this what if scenario, with what if the Grey Hulk was in the Incredible Hulk 2008, and the storyline's going to change significantly. And I do want to say thank you guys so much, my fellow watchers, for requesting this Marvel's What If. This was one that I wanted to do for a very long time. It's actually different from another What If that I did with What If Hulk Went Berserk in the 2008 film. And I wanted to go with a different storyline premise and a completely different outlook on this Marvel's What If episode. But that being said, my fellow watchers, let's dive into the brand new episode. In the dim light of a secluded library, Bruce Banner's hands trembled as he turned the ancient pages of a mystical text rumored to contain secrets of powers beyond the mundane. His eyes, weary yet determined, scanned the intricate symbols and scripts. After years on the run, hiding in the shadows from those who sought to exploit his curse, Bruce was desperate. Each day brought with it the fear of losing control, of the Hulk emerging and wreaking havoc, potentially falling into the hands of those with sinister intentions. His search had led him to whispered tales of the Ancient One, a figure shrouded in mystery residing in a place where the boundaries of reality were thin. It was said that this guardian of ancient wisdom had the power to bend and reshape the very fabric of existence. If anyone could help him rid himself of the Hulk permanently, it was her. With nothing but a battered backpack and a flicker of hope, Bruce traveled to Kathmandu. The city was a tapestry of vibrant colors and sounds, a stark contrast to his life of isolation and secrecy. He navigated the crowded streets, his heart heavy with the knowledge that every moment he remained in public was a risk. The Hulk was a ticking time bomb, one that he could no longer afford to let detonate. After days of searching, Bruce found the unassuming entrance to Kamartage, hidden in plain sight among the bustling market streets. Pushing open the ancient wooden door, he stepped into a courtyard that seemed untouched by time. The air was cool, the atmosphere serene, a stark departure from the chaos of the city outside. He was greeted by a figure who moved with an air of grace and authority. This was the Ancient One. Her eyes, old yet timeless, regarded Bruce with a mixture of curiosity and foreknowledge. Uh, Mr. Banner, she began, her voice both commanding and gentle. I have been expecting you. Your journey has been long and fraught with peril. Bruce, taken aback by her knowing his name, nodded. I need your help, he said, his voice cracking with the burden of his desperation. I can't control it. The other me, the Hulk. I'm a danger to everyone around me. The Ancient One listened intently as Bruce explained his plight. His voice was filled with a mixture of fear and resolve as he recounted the countless times he had lost control, the destruction he had unwillingly caused, and the people who sought to turn him into a weapon. You wish to be rid of the Hulk, she stated, more a fact than a question. Yes, Bruce affirmed, his eyes pleading. If there's any way to separate him from me, to destroy him so that no one can use him. The Ancient One led Bruce through the winding corridors of Kamartaj to a tranquil garden where the air seemed thick with the power of unspoken spells and enchantments. 
They sat opposite each other on ancient stone benches, the garden around them a blur of ethereal beauty. The Hulk is a part of you, she explained, her gaze piercing. To remove him is to remove a part of your essence. It's not a decision to be made lightly, nor without great risk. Bruce's hands clenched in his lap, his knuckles white. I've thought about nothing else for years, he confessed. Every time he comes out, I lose a piece of myself. I'm at the end of my rope. I can't live like this. The Ancient One regarded Bruce with a deep, unwavering empathy. There is a way, she finally said, her voice low, resonating with the weight of her words. But it involves delving into the very depths of your soul, confronting that which you fear most. Bruce nodded, resolute despite the fear that flickered in his eyes. I'll do whatever it takes. Preparing the ritual, the Ancient One warned, this will not be easy, and the outcome cannot be fully predicted. The forces we are dealing with are as ancient and complex as the universe itself. In the heart of Kamartaj, surrounded by ancient symbols and artifacts, Bruce sat as the Ancient One began the intricate spell. Magical energy swirled around them, colors and sounds blending in a symphony of power. The air thickened, reality seemed to warp and bend, and Bruce felt a searing pain as the essence of the Hulk began to be drawn out of him. As the spell reached its climax, the unexpected happened. Instead of one form, two distinct entities began to emerge from Bruce. The air crackled with raw energy as the figures of the Green Hulk and a new, unexpected Grey Hulk, representing different facets of Bruce's psyche, materialized. The Grey Hulk, cunning and fierce, broke free from the magical containment with a roar of defiance. The Ancient One reacted swiftly, her hands weaving through the air, casting stronger spells to try to control the situation. But the Grey Hulk was relentless, his anger fueled by a newfound freedom and a deep-seated rage. As Bruce watched in horror trapped within a force field of the Ancient One's making, he felt another surge of transformation. Despite the Ancient One's efforts to keep him contained, the emotional turmoil was too much. His body bulged, his skin tinged green, and the familiar power of the Hulk surged through him. His own transformation into the Green Hulk. Inevitable. The Garden of Kamartaj, once serene, was now a battlefield, hosting a conflict that could shake the very foundations of reality. The serene Garden of Kamartaj had transformed into an arena of chaos and destruction. As the Green Hulk emerged with a ground-shaking roar, the newly materialized Grey Hulk, with a cunning glare and a posture ready for combat, immediately recognized his counterpart as a threat. The Ancient One, her face marked by concern and urgency, moved quickly, her hands weaving intricate spells to restrain the two powerful entities, now rampaging through her sanctuary. Bruce's consciousness, though submerged within the Green Hulk, was tumultuously awake, aware of the devastation that both Hulks could cause if left unchecked. He struggled internally, fighting for control, a battle as intense as the physical one unfolding around him. The Grey Hulk, embodying Bruce's repressed intellect and strategic cunning, utilized his surroundings to his advantage, throwing ancient statues and mystical artifacts at the Green Hulk with precision. The Green Hulk responded with sheer brute force, his roars vibrating through the air as he smashed through the Ancient One's carefully constructed barriers. The Ancient One, realizing the potential threat to not just Kamartaj, but the world beyond, attempted to subdue both Hulks using her deep reservoir of mystical powers. She cast a spell that created ethereal chains, attempting to bind their massive forms. However, the Grey Hulk's strategic thinking had him anticipate and dodge the bindings, while the Green Hulk shattered them with raw strength. 
as the fight spilled from the garden into the ancient hallways of Kamar Taj. Priceless relics and centuries-old murals became casualties of the relentless destruction. The Ancient One, forced to take drastic measures, used a powerful incantation to temporarily slow time, hoping to calm the situation. But the raw power of the hulks disrupted the spell, creating a feedback loop that blasted a wave of energy throughout the vicinity. This anomaly did not go unnoticed. Far away in the bustling streets of Harlem, Emil Blonsky, transformed into the monstrous abomination, sensed the surge of power. Seeing an opportunity to defeat his nemesis and prove his superiority, the Abomination began his journey towards Kamartaj, his mind set on a confrontation that would surely shake the heavens. Inside the Green Hulk, Bruce's psyche was a battlefield of emotions and memories. Visions of his past, his fears, and his hopes mingled as he fought for dominance over the raging beast. The Grey Hulk, meanwhile, seemed to be a manifestation of Bruce's long-suppressed desires for control and recognition, his actions cold and calculated, a stark contrast to the Green Hulk's chaotic fury. The Ancient One, observing the internal struggle within Bruce, realized that this battle was not just physical, but deeply spiritual. She approached Bruce's consciousness through a mystical projection, trying to reach out to him within the Green Hulk. Bruce, she whispered into the storm of his mind, you must find balance. Only unity within yourself can bring peace to the chaos without. As the abomination approached Kamar Taj, the earth trembled under his every step, his intent clear and deadly. Inside the mystical sanctum, the hulks, now aware of the new threat, momentarily turned their wrath towards a common enemy. The Ancient One seized this brief truce to strengthen her spells, creating a mystical dome around Kamar Taj to prevent the battle from spilling into the innocent world outside. As the tremors of the Abomination's approach reverberated through the mystical barriers of Kamar Taj, the Ancient One's face was etched with grim determination. The convergence of such powerful beings under the roof of this ancient sanctum was unprecedented and dangerous. She knew the stakes were not just the survival of her sanctuary, but potentially the stability of the dimensional fabric itself. Emil Blonsky, now the monstrous abomination, crashed through the periphery of Kamar Taj with a ferocity matched only by his desire for dominance. As he entered the domain, his eyes locked onto the two hulks, his lips curling into a grotesque smile of anticipation. The battle lines were drawn, and the air crackled with the power of these colossal adversaries. Despite their differences, the Green and Grey Hulks recognized the immediate threat posed by the Abomination. The Grey Hulk, with a tactical nod to the Green Hulk, coordinated their initial assault. They charged a blur of Green and Grey Fury, colliding with the Abomination in a clash that shook the foundations of the Ancient Temple. The Ancient One, utilizing her mystical prowess, enhanced the Hulk's assault, weaving spells that amplified their strikes and momentarily disoriented the Abomination. She then turned to Bruce's consciousness, still fighting for control within the Green Hulk. Within the chaos of the Green Hulk's mind, Bruce found himself in a surreal landscape that mirrored his inner turmoil. The Ancient One's voice guided him, a beacon in the swirling darkness. Bruce, remember who you are. Your strength is not your curse, but your legacy. Unite them. Unite yourself. Images of Bruce's past, his father's experiments, his mother's love, his own gamma transformation flashed before him, each memory a piece of the puzzle that was his fractured psyche. With a deep, resonant clarity, Bruce understood what he needed to do. The Green and Grey Hulks, representing different aspects of his identity, needed to be reconciled, not defeated. 
Back in the physical world, the battle raged. The abomination, recovering from the initial assault, unleashed his fury, targeting the momentarily distracted Green Hulk. As he landed a devastating blow, Bruce, within the Hulk, reached out to the Grey Hulk, their minds touching in a moment of profound unity. In a dazzling display of mystical energy, facilitated by the Ancient One, Bruce merged the essence of the Green and Grey Hulks. The transformation was spectacular, energy arcing across the skies, the ground trembling with the birth of a new Hulk, one that balanced raw power with cunning intellect. This new unified Hulk turned to face the abomination with a roar that was both a challenge and a declaration of newfound purpose. The battle that ensued was titanic, each blow shaking the very air. But with his balanced powers and the Ancient One's mystical aid, the Hulk subdued the Abomination, his final blow sending the beast into a stunned silence, defeated but alive. With the threat neutralized, the Ancient One repaired the damage to Kamartaj and the surrounding dimensions. The Unified Hulk, now a symbol of balance and strength, stood by her side, his presence a testament to the journey of self-discovery and acceptance. The Ancient One, looking at Bruce now residing within the Hulk, spoke with a gentle authority. You were never meant to rid yourself of the Hulk, Bruce. You were meant to understand him, to accept him. You are a guardian of both human and the infinite. As Bruce nodded, his expression one of peace and resolve, the Ancient One continued. Your journey does not end here. Many will seek your power, but remember it is your heart. Balance between rage and reason. That is your true strength. Bruce, now the Unified Hulk, left Kamartaj, a figure of legend and a protector in the truest sense. The world would eventually hear tales of a green giant who was both a beast and a guardian, his story inspiring those who struggle with their own inner demons. And in the quiet sanctum of Kamartaj, the Ancient One watched the stars, her thoughts on the endless cycles of conflict and resolution, knowing well that the Hulk's journey was just one among many in the tapestry of the cosmos. And that is going to be it for What If The Incredible Hulk 2008. What if the Grey Hulk was in The Incredible Hulk 2008? Now it definitely would have been a change in the MCU. If Bruce Banner had went to Kamartaj and seeked help from the Ancient One with trying to separate himself with the Hulk. I think if Bruce's paranoia had gotten to him, I think he would have seeked different answers and the Ancient One might have been one of those things. So this was kind of the route that I wanted to take. It was more of a realistic route that I could have taken with the MCU because I believe that Doc Samus in issue 377, I don't think that type of storyline would have played out within the MCU timeline with getting a Grey Hulk. So I think the Master of Mystic Arts, I think that would have been a more suitable storyline for this particular what if scenario so it was a challenge and i think it was a challenge success challenge completed so again if you guys are new around here and would like to see more i challenge you to challenge me to another what if scenario what do you think i should do next but that being said do make sure to subscribe like share and turn those notifications on and make sure that you guys check out the other videos on the channel and let me know what other requests that you have but again thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next what if episode take care and have a wonderful day peace out